Hello everybody! In this video I will show you how you can test or view Fiori apps locally with, with uh, VS Code and Node.js. In today's example we will display data from a CDS view in a Fiori app as a table. So we need Visual Studio Code and Node.js. I have already installed Visual Studio Code and I will install Node.js now. So I have downloaded the install file, double click, then we see the Node.js setup, we accept the license agreements, we pick a folder, click on next, next, and next. Last on the install button, and after the installation, We click on finish and go back to Visual Studio Code. So then we click on the icon extensions and we search for Fiori. And we see here some extensions and we pick the Sub Fiori Tools extension pack. This is a collection of different extensions. We click on install. And now we have installed some Fiori extensions. Then we click on view and command palette and we type here in Fiori open application generator. And we click on this. Then we got an error. Node.js installation cannot be detected. Okay, for this we have to restart Visual Studio Code. Okay, then again, view and command palette, open application generator. Then we see here the template wizard and yeah, different templates. But first we click on the link here, top right, explore and install generators so that you can see which uh, generator is installed. So search for Subfury elements. And here we see the sub generator Fiori is installed already. So we go back to the template wizard and here I pick the list report page for my OData service. And then I click on next. And the data source I want to connect to a system. I have a, a subsystem installed on a, in a Docker container, ABAP trial. And then here ABAP on premise and the system URL. We can check this if we log into the SAP system with SAP GUI. Then we click on the folder Fiori reference applications and here double click. And then we see the link and the port. So we can copy this. And we paste this link in this input field system URL. The sub client is 001. The service username is my sub username developer and the service password. Then we click on the icon on the right side, log in. Okay, worked. And then we pick a service. So we scroll down to the set services. We see here different OData service. You can pick a service, another service with you if you want. But I want to test my own created CDS view. So we click on this, then click on next. Yeah, main entity is set test CDS. Next. Here you can pick a project name, application title, description, and so on. Project path folder. I have here, uh, yeah, my own folder and the, the minimum sub UFI version. You can scroll down here. You can set here different versions you see uh, from newer ones to older ones. But for the first try, let's pick the standard source system version. 
Yeah, release, release, uh, we set this to, we leave this to no and we click on finish. Okay, then the folder will be created, the files will be created for our project one. And we see here, okay, project one is not in the current workspace. Okay, so let's add the project to the current workspace. Here we see my workspace. Uh, Here's the project one. So click on this. We see here that generated folders and files. And here the application info about this project. So we click on this file. Here we see the URL, client path and so on. Here the index HTML file. Yeah. So let's open the terminal on project one. And now let's generate this with the command npm start now a browser should open yes and here we see here we can set uh, some columns from our cds view to display so let's pick some columns click on ok then we click on the button go and here we see some values some records provided from our own cds view we can adapt some filters let's try this for example click on airline then on ok Then we can uh, set the filter here, uh, set the value LH for Lufthansa, for example. Now only the records with, we have only the records with Lufthansa. So uh, let's check the UF5 framework version. Click here on this icon, click on about, and we see here sub UF5 framework is 1.7.49. And now let's change this framework to the newest one. For this, we click on the button on the left side, SAP Fiori. We click on project and on the icon, open application info. Here we see the, our UFI version, our current UFI version. And now scroll down to the menu change, minimum UFI version. And here we set the minimum version to 1.121. Then some things are rebuilt. Okay, then we have to reload this window. So let's speed up this a little bit. Okay, now it's reloaded. We see the new minimum UFI version. It's now 1.121.1. So then we go back to the, to the workspace and we open a terminal again, project one. And now we type again npm start. After that, a browser window opens again. And here we see a different look and feel a little bit. So let's add some columns again. So let's add the same columns as in the first example. Then we click on the button go. And here we see the rendering is a bit different. So let's uh, adapt the filter airline again. And now we can type here LH. So works. And now let's check the, oh, we have here some uh, export buttons. Now click on about. And here we see the different look and feel and the new framework version 1.121. 1. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's quite nice to check this or to test some things with your ABAP test system and so on. And with different UFI versions, it's a few clicks and you can check this.
with your Fiori apps. Yes, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.